We must be mindful on the breathing in order to abandon other mental actions. The present action of mindfulness on the breathing is to do, not to, not to grasp, not to pay attention to that action. Mindfulness on breathing is what we can do, what we can understand. But normal understanding is breathing as mind. The action of focusing on mindfulness are misunderstand as mind, my action. To understand, understanding that to abandon, understanding that do nothing, except focusing on the breathing, is also to understand only, to do only. Not to grasp that mental action. I, I want you to understand only, not to grasp that understanding. Not to pay attention that action. Now you are not using only. You are grasping to the action of focusing on the mindfulness. You are grasping on that understanding. You are grasping on the action of abandoning other actions. Grasping means I want you to know the habit, the grasping habit of everyone, all living beings. Someone was born, as soon as someone was born, the grasping habit exists with that person. Doing with grasping habits is not doing only. To be listening only, you must abandon, paying attention to my teaching. To be doing only, you must be mindful. To be doing only, mindfulness on the breathing must be to do only. 
to be doing only abandoning the other action, abandoning other action is to do only, not to grasp or not to pay attention to the action. There are only cause and effects. The action of mindfulness on the breathing is one of the cause. Abandoning the other action is also one of the cause. If we make a cause, there will be effect. Maybe we can do or cannot. Whatever result happen, it is to experience only. We need to understand like this and we need to be able to practice like this. If the mind is unstable, trying to be experiencing only, without grasping to that effect. If the mind is stable, trying to be experiencing only, without grasping to that situation. If we are paying attention to what we understand, we are grasping our intelligence, we are grasping what we know. That is also misusing cause and effect. We must try to be using only, experiencing only, doing only, knowing only, with all cause and effect. This understanding is to use only. Practicing like this is also to do only. This is the truth about all cause and effect. We must try to be able to use in the right way. Now you are paying attention, you are asking about my teaching, you are paying attention to my teaching. I want you to use my teaching in the right way, neither rejecting nor attaching. If you cannot abandon my teaching, you are mis misusing the cause and effect or misusing the Evani and Bhaman and Nisha. We need to abandon our belongings to be able to detach from them. Abandoning the belonging doesn't mean not to, not to use the things, not to use the belongings. In order to detach from attachment, we need to abandon everything. In order to detach from our family, we need to abandon our family. It doesn't mean not to stay together. It doesn't mean to stay away from, from the family all the time. It doesn't mean like that. The aim of the action of abandoning must be to be free from attachment, to be able to detach from our family. We can stay together with the power of detachment. If we can abandon, staying together is not a problem. We need to abandon our normal life to detach from normal life. If there is detachment from the normal life, you can be a lay person, you can deal with lay people. Staying alone or staying with family, staying with people is not, not the problem. All the problems are caused by wrong understanding and attachment. We need to abandon our home, our town, our country in order to detach from that place. If we have the power of detachment, we can stay Anywhere. There will be no problems with the place. In the beginning of my meditation center, there are a lot of problems, a lot of meat. The food is not enough. The place is not enough. The medicine is not enough. That's why there are a lot of problems in the center. That's why in the beginning, Many people who came to stay permanently, but 
They cannot detach from the situation. They cannot detach from their problems. That's why they have to go back. Although they, they come to meditate to the center, they cannot detach from their home. That's why they have to go back to the, to their home. Only the yogis who can detach from that place, from the situation, can live at the center forever, for a long time. There are also a lot of problems and difficulty in practicing meditation. That's why if the yogis cannot detach from the difficulty and suddenly cannot practice anymore. They have to abandon their practice. We also need to abandon our action. Not only physical and power, but also mental action. It doesn't mean not to do anything. The aim of abandoning action is to detach from attachment to the action. Doing which wrong understanding and attachment is not right. Doing only which right understanding and detachment is right. We need to abandon our action in order to be free from wrong understanding and attachment. Buddha can abandon his family, his country before he became a Buddha. In order to be able to practice in the right way, the power of detachment or abandoning power is necessary. The future Buddha can abandon everything, all action. That's why he became the Buddha. And then he, he went to his country, his family, with the power of right understanding and detachment. He knew how to detach from wrong understanding and attachment. That's why he can help his family to be able to detach from wrong understanding and attachment. Why he is, he is staying in the palace as a king, he cannot detach from wrong understanding and attachment. The action of abandoning is one of the causes. We must understand the action of abandoning in the right way and we must be able to use this action in the right way. Using only, without grasping. I started my own meditation center at 2007. From that time on, many meditators came and stay at the center. That's why I have to face a lot of problems like this. Grasping to my teaching, grasping to the center, grasping to the teacher, and grasping to, to the other yogis. Because they cannot abandon the habit of grasping, the habit of paying attention to the same person, to the same thing. That's why they are grasping one or another. It is very difficult to solve the problem, like some of the disease which cannot be cured. To solve the problem and trying to be able to use in the right way, and cannot help them to abandon their habits. That's why I'm trying to detach from them. I allow them to stay at the center, but in order to to let them do good deeds. Only the action of doing good deeds can be less and less wrong understanding and attachment. So that's why I, I make my meditation center as full-time meditation center, not all-time meditation center, in order to give chance to the meditators to practice regularly, to do good deeds daily. If I cannot explain by using words, 
I will let them to solve the, their problems by let them do good deeds by themselves. It is the best, the best thing I can do. In this way, time after time, strong attachment to wrong understanding and wrong action become less and less. There are remaining only few problems. If wrong understanding is very powerful, it will make wrong action and there will be many problems. If the power of wrong understanding became weaker and weaker, there will be less wrong action and less problems. That's why our own action of doing good deeds is the most important for everyone. We must rely on our own action of doing good deeds. This is the answer to all questions. If you cannot understand by listening the matter or learning Buddhist literature, trying to do good deeds more and more, and then one day you can understand. You can understand the truth. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.